glory. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, we thank God for another opportunity. Yes. To be um, mm. praying. Amen. And to be calling on the Lord for his mercies. Yes. Amen. Amen. Are you excited? Excited, sir. Yes. Mm. And um, we thank God that he is blessing every day. Yes. And today we want to look at the burden of Duma. Mm. Isaiah 21 verse 11. He calleth to me out of seer, watchman, what of the night. Hallelujah. Watchman, what of the night. Mm. Now it's night here. Yes. In Ghana. And it's night, I know in America, it must be night in England, night everywhere. Yes. I think it's night in most places. <laughs> Maybe Australia is daytime. But the question is, what's going to come? What's happening? And the watchman says, uh, the morning cometh and also the night. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason why this is important is because the Bible says we should watch and pray. Wow. We should do what? Watch and, Watch pray. and pray. Not mm. just pray, but be watchful. Wow. And watchfulness means alertness, consciousness, being able to perceive and sense things that you should pray for mm. and about. And that's what the Bible calls a burden, a prophetic ministry. I think the other day we prayed about the prophetic ministry, your prophetic ministry, one of the things of a prophet's ministry is a burden. Wow. What he senses is a burden. All right? So whatever the Lord lays on your heart, that's the burden of the day. All right. And it's important to pray your burdens. Mm. Amen. We're praying our burdens. So as we start this morning or night, whatever time it is where you are, Let's lift our hands and thank God Hallelujah. that he is in control Amen. of our lives yes. and that he is governing every aspect of our lives. Let Amen. us pray. Tama kobara mandala ba. Mande malan dojin dari mananda la baradole bana baradelele. Man oswe talmade shemonda dari mondele beke baradelebe. Jesus. Oh, Ramandali With thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Now, I want you to call your, your neighbor, mm. call your friend. It's mm. 3.30 in the morning now. And call your friend in Ghana. It's 3.30, wherever you are. Mm. Time to wake up. Yes. Time to pray. Yes. Everybody's tired. Everybody's mm. feeling sleepy, but it's time to it's pray. Time. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Let's come and be a living sacrifice Hallelujah. to the Lord. So Hallelujah. call your friend and tell your neighbor, mm. you know something? I'm not going to allow you to sleep when it's time to pray. Just get up, brush your teeth, okay? And uh, get into the prayer room now. Mm. And um, I'm going to let you make tea in about 20 minutes. Amen. We're all going to make some tea. All right. In about 20 minutes. Okay? Yes, sir. At 4 a.m. GMT. But I need you to get up first. So call all your friends. Then we all may have a tea party. Yes, sir. At, four, at around 4 o'clock. Mm. Amen. Amen. But now it's about getting up, brushing your teeth, getting out of the bed so that you are in a prayer mode. Yes. Put on your Bluetooth speaker. Yes. Very, very important. I'm with you in the room. You'll be shocked. <laughs> Paul said that my spirit did my I I I I was I will be with you wow. in spirit. Wow. Amen. Amen. When the prophet met uh, Gehazi, he said, Did my spirit not go with you? Hey. So you, I'm with you there. You think I'm not there, but I'm there with you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So I'm holding your hand. Yes. Thank you. Gently yes. out of the bed. Yes. Let's get up. And we are going to pray Hallelujah. to the Lord concerning. Hallelujah. Whatever the burden the Lord lays upon mm. us today, mm. Amen. Amen. Enter His gates with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Thank God for victory. Thank you for victory. Whatever you have predicted, that yes, is going Lord. to happen yes, practically. Oh, wow. Matagaba. Wow. Enter His gates with Amen. thanksgiving. Amen. And eat for right. a moment. In about fifteen minutes, we are all going to make tea. Amen. What do you think? Tea party. All right, and we are going to pray 
with hot tea. Okay? Amen. Amen. Now, don't you, those of you who are despising what I'm saying, I leave you, I leave you to God. Do you see? And let's see whether you will be able to pray without the hot tea. And those who don't drink tea, you say you only eat fufu. You get it? Or you only eat pap or whatever. You'll be surprised. Amen. Amen. So God is blessing us. And we are going to pray about um, something. But look at 1 Corinthians 15 verse 32. In verse 32, it says, If after the manner of men I have fought with beasts at Ephesus, what advantageth it me if the dead rise not? Let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we die. Paul is saying that if after the manner of beasts, he was talking about the things he's done. Do you see? And in verse 30, he says, Why stand we in jeopardy every hour? I protest by your rejoicing, which I have in Christ Jesus our Lord. I die daily. I die daily. This is one of the favorite quotations of Catherine Kuhlman. I die daily. And verse 32, he says, And if after the manner of men I fought with, like I fought with leopards. What is the point? How does it help me if I fight with leopards? The way a man fights with, the way a human being does it. I fought with leopards. I fought with tigers. I fought with antelopes. You see me running after animals. What is the advantage? Now, what Paul is saying is that there are times when you have to do things like a man, as if there's even no God. Do you see? And you fight after the manner of men. That with in certain things, you have to, not that there's no God, there is God, but it's like as though, you know, here you are fighting with a leopard, as if there's no God to protect you. So what I'm saying is that as we are praying, you know, you have to pray in such a way, even as though God isn't, doesn't even want you to be awake, that you are feeling so sleepy, that he's not helping you supernaturally. Do you see? You have to, after the manner of man, do anything after the manner of man. Do you get it? To stay awake, to fight sleep. We are not fighting a leopard, but we are fighting sleep. And you have to fight sleep after the manner of man. That's why I said we are going to make tea. Hot tea. You get it? After the manner of man. Because people who want to stay awake, they smoke. They say, oh, give me a cigarette, a, a jot. Let me light my cigarette. Some drink coffee. They do everything to stay awake after the manner of men. So here we are after the manner of men. You get it? Trying to do everything to stay awake. Sometimes when you are praying, you have to set an alarm. Me, I have it. If you see my alarms, you see that I have alarms. At, if you, you'll be surprised at the times I have. Because sometimes I, when I put on my phone, I can press all the alarms. So every whatever minute, it goes off. So I'll be there and all, pip, 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 pip. And I said, look at you, you are trying to wake me up. I'm, I'm, I'm awake. And I turn it off. And every few minutes, it will be coming on. Because I'm fighting sleep after the manner of men. And I say, oh, the Holy Ghost will wake me up. No. Yes. I'm not saying the Holy Ghost will wake me up. Do you think he cannot wake me up? He can. But I am fighting it after the manner of men. How do men fight sleep? They drink coffee. They walk around. They smoke. Okay, if you want to smoke, you can smoke. Ah, look, you see now? You are provoking me to say things. Don't smoke, please, oh. Smoking is not good. Even the world are advising against smoking. Amen. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, after the manner of men, we are fighting with this. So, I want you to pray because God is giving you some wisdom. There are certain battles you are fighting. 
there is an element where you have to do what men do when they are fighting that thing. Yes. When they are fighting that thing, what do people do? What do human beings do? Yes. That's why we're saying that. I was, my brother was telling me, when I drink the communion, then I take the hydroxychloroquine, and I follow with zinc, and then I'm moving. And vitamin C, after the manner of men. Yes. <laughs> Are you there? Are you listening? Amen. So, now I feel that God is giving some wisdom for your life. Before we even get into something else, there's some wisdom that God is giving you that certain things you need to fight after the manner of men. And Paul is saying, I, I came so low in that fight. You see me with a knife fighting, throwing a stone with wood sticks. I mean, you see Paul as if he can't preach, as if there's no God, as if he doesn't pray. Chasing leopard, wolves, this fighting with baby lions. I mean, different things. Chasing a giraffe, is chasing him. Elephant, he's running. You can imagine Paul running from an elephant. Different things. Why? It says, what is the use of all this? If there's no resurrection. I said, thank God, when the resurrection comes, all these things will be counted for your benefit. Amen. So, what wisdom is God giving you? There are some things you are fighting in your life. Maybe you are fighting pornography. You have to use after the manner of men. Maybe you have to block certain things and make it impossible for you to do certain things. After the manner of men, use human. There are some things that you pray about it, then you, you deploy human methods to, to combat it. As if there's not that there's no God, there's God. But as if there's no God, you take up that fight and that battle. So when we are swallowing chloroquine, vitamin C, zinc, things that even scientifically have been proven, what you'll do? Yeah. What you'll do? <laughs> eh? What you'll do? Are you, they say they want to wait for a study. The study, then so many people are dead after the study before the study will tell you that it works. What you'll do? If it has any benefit, hey, why not? Amen. Amen. So right now, we are praying, God, speak to me and show me what thing must I battle after the manner of man in my life. Yes. And show me how to do it. So as we are here praying, like I said, me, I don't just, there are times when I sleep, I wake up, I know that I am sleepy very tired, and I don't want to sleep, but I need to pray. Then you said, I've set alarm. Every 20 minutes, every 30 minutes, alarm is going off. After the manner of men, as if, as if the, the Holy Spirit doesn't want, and I can tell you, as a Christian, God has woken me up before. Yes, I've prayed, and sometimes I've, I've seen God wake me up, boom, a supernatural waking. It has happened to me a number of times. Wow. Not many times, but it has happened to me. But there are times you, you don't have to depend on that. You have to say, look, I'm fighting it. Yeah. Every standing. So I, I see standing is also after the manner of men. Oh. <laughs> standing. Yes. Just stand for this initial. Hallelujah. Uh, and, and God is giving wisdom already. We have started. Yes. Supernatural revelation is coming. Yes. After the manner of men. Yes. After the manner of men. Yes. After the manner of men. Yes. What is there in my life yes. that I must battle? After the manner of men. Yes. Lift up Uba Kataba. Oh, hallelujah. Now, I want you to take your seat. Um, I said we're going to make tea at 4 o'clock. Now it's past 4. So we are going to make tea now. Amen. Amen. Everybody, make tea. Amen. I'm going to give you 10 things to fight after the manner of men. You see, Paul was fighting with animals, not like an animal, but after the man of man, which is to lower yourself as though you are just a normal man, as though there is no God, as though there is no supernatural part of you, as though there is no uh, Holy Spirit. It's a low place, but you fight things 
there are certain things, if you don't fight it after the manner of men, you may think there is no God. That God has left you. Yes. And God does expect you to fight them after the manner of men. I, I don't think God expects you to meet a leopard and say, hi. Charlie, what, what are you doing here? Hey, do this. The leopard will say, before you realize, you are lunch. You've become somebody's lunch. So there are things, look at the scripture. If after the manner of men, like it's as though I'm just an ordinary man. I have fought with wild animals. Is there another version? If I have fought with beasts at Ephesus, apparently there must have been some wild animals. Yeah. If I fought wild beasts in Ephesus with no more than human hopes, what have I gained? He was talking about the importance of the resurrection. If, as, as, as though I'm just a human. Human hopes. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to, I, I just feel the burden. You know, we talk about the burden of Duma. We always have to pray according to our burden. Is there another version here? More nicer versions? Yeah. Do you think I was just trying to act heroic when I fought the wild beast at Ephesus? Hoping it wouldn't be the end of me? Huh? It's resurrection, resurrection, always resurrection. That undergirds what I do and say the way I live. If there's no re resurrection, then we eat and drink. The next day we die. And that's all there is to it. But there is more to it. Amen. Are you excited this morning? Amen. So, we are going to make tea and then we are just quickly praying. This is actually not what we need to pray for. But just as we are, the Spirit is leading us. We are going to give you, I'm giving you the first burden. And then after that, everybody said, you see, what do I mean? I don't drink tea, I eat fufu. And that is not the point now. You learn new things. So the, the first thing that we are fighting is prayerlessness. You see, you are fighting prayerlessness as though you are a man, as if there is no God. And that is by making tea to drink without milk, without sugar. Try it for the first time in your life. Okay. Uh, God is making you a gentleman. God is making you a lady. Yeah, if you go to visit the queen, you have to know how to drink tea. I was once in a castle in England, a castle. Have you seen the castle like Buckingham? And the castle was very near to Buckingham Palace, one of the huge castles. At four o'clock, they took us for tea. You have to know how to drink. We didn't know why, why we're being, but that was what was happening. It's not what you know. It's, 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 a social, it's a social drink. So God is preparing you for a castle and a palace somewhere. Is it, was it a palace or a castle? Buckingham Palace. Is that what it, a palace? Yes, it was a palace. Yeah. Four o'clock, they took us to a garden, tea. You see, you are arguing. So you <laughs> obey God in little things and in big things. You'll be shocked what's going to happen to you. And you have to know how to do it. Everybody just went T, 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 T. They were seven. Beautiful. So we are fighting prayerlessness as though there is no God with alarms. So I'm sh showing you alarms, walking, eh, tea, coffee, music, loud music. With a Bluetooth speaker. You see, as though, there, as though there's no angel in the room. As though there's no Holy Spirit in your life. So that's number one. There are ten things we are fighting. And that's number one. Amen. So go and make your tea. I'm waiting for you. Then I'll also go and make mine. When I make, I'll come and show you. Beautiful. Amen. We are fighting after the manner of men. So I'm giving you 10 fights after the manner of men. Wow. Amen. Amen. Fight number two. Fight to keep your man. If God gives you a man, a beloved, a man, a husband, there is a place where you have to fight after the manner of men. It doesn't mean fighting other women. Fighting other women cheapens you. 
It cheapens you. Fighting other women lowers you in the eyes of your man. Yes. At least it lowers you in, in my eyes. And every man will tell you, you, your value goes down when you fight other women. You become nasty. Yeah. There are nice things to do to keep your man after the manner of what? Man. <laughs> Beautiful. You want me to give you those things to do? I will give you not. Yeah, this is not a seminar for those things. After the manner of man. So fight to keep your man. If God gives you a man, there is a manner of man that things to do. You can't just be thanking God, the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank, you. Thank God. But there are fights, things you have to do. That will keep him. That will keep him liking you. Yes. I heard it from Kenneth Hagin. Wow. Yes. If you had to do this, he said, Kenneth Hagin said, if you had to, to do this to get your man, you have to do this to keep your man. Wow. I heard it from Kenneth Hagin more than 30 years ago. Yes. If you had to do this to get your man, you have to do this to keep your man. And the worst thing you can do is to fight other women. It lowers you. It makes you turn into a caricature. Into a what? Caricature. Don't just say caricature. 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 <laughs> are you still around or you are leaving? Yes. So fight to keep in your man. All right? Yes. And what about the women? To fight to keep your woman. Yes, you also fight to keep your woman. But I said fight to keep your man. And I don't want arguments when we are having prayer. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So fight to keep your man. Let's pray. God, give me that wisdom. As you are making your tea, yes. if you went to make your tea and you missed this topic, you have missed a serious topic. Yes. <laughs> yes. God is giving you the wisdom how to what what strategies to do to fight to keep your man because you can get your man but you can lose him you can lose his heart lose his interest beautiful so let's pray we are praying make your tea as we pray and then continue come back call your neighbor send your child neighbor you have missed already it's too bad What's happening is serious. Every standing, every praying. Please get your small tea. I'm going to show you my tea in a minute. I'm going to make my tea. I'll be back. So God is giving wisdom yes. on how to fight after the man of man. Mm. Number one, pray for the wisdom to fight prayerlessness after the man of man. Wow. Amen. Amen. And the wisdom to keep your man. Number three, to fight poverty. Whoa. Amen. Whoa. After the manner of man. Whoa. Amen. What must you do in the natural? Mm. Yes. One of them is not borrowing and not having monthly payments. Yeah. Anything that has monthly payments, fear it. Yeah. Monthly payments for 10 years. Monthly payments for three years. Monthly payments for one year. Monthly payments for whatever. Fear it. Wow. Yeah. Everybody comes with you. Say, Don't worry. Pay monthly. By the time you realize 17 people have contracted you for shirts, for shoes, for television, radio, car, house, there's everything monthly payments. So you are a servant of 17 people without realizing it. Yes. That's why if you go to a lot of offices, there are people who come around selling shirts, shoes. There's, they are selling different things. So pay monthly. So they come for their money every month. <laughs> yes. Anything that has monthly payments, fear it. So what after the manner of man is God giving you? Lift your hand quickly. Please, get your tea. Look at my tea. 
Wow. Beautiful. 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 After the man of men, I'm fighting prayerlessness. Hey. Amen. Mercy. Thank you, Lord. Tarama go bashandala baba. Wisdom after the manner of men. Fighting poverty. Fighting poverty. Working hard hey. is a fight against just to be diligent and hard working. Wow. It's a fight against poverty after the manner of men. Wow. As if there's no hope in God. Wow. As if tithing. Giving doesn't help in any wow. way. Just working hard Shonda is a Barana. fight Hallelujah. against poverty. Yes. Lift your hand and pray yes. for the wisdom. Thank you. The wisdom. Man, to fight the after wisdom. the man of men. The wisdom to fight against poverty. Man, against poverty. Man, the fight I mentioned. Yes, sir. You write down three things after the man of men you are going to do to fight that thing. Wow. Yeah. Are you with me? Yes, sir. So if it's a fight mm -hmm. against prayerlessness. Write down three things. Maybe drinking tea, walking, uh, loud music, uh, alarms, whatever. Write just three. When it comes to, to keep your man, mm -hmm. write down three things to keep your man. Yes, sir. May I heard it from Kenneth Hagen. May I'm sharing with you what I, I also heard. I was a student when I heard it. Thank you. Yeah, he said if you, if you got your man, you have to fight to keep him. Mm. But you did to get, to get him, you have to do to keep. You can't look like a monkey at home, but you looked like a princess when he met you. But now at home, you look like what? Monkey doodle. <laughs> do you want to look like monkey doodle? <laughs> yes. So three things to keep your man. Mm. There are three. Three things after the manner of men, as if there's no hope. Yes. Only what you do against poverty. Number four, three, to fight to read your Bible. Oh. Yes. You know that one of the books that you can easily not read is the Bible. Yes. And there are things you can do. Do you want me to tell you some things you can yes. do? No, you pray for it. Oh. Pray for God to show you oh. what to do to read your Bible. Me, one of the things that have helped me to read the Bible is that I listen to people that are interesting to me. Mm. Yes. Mm. It's interesting. And then when they preach, it makes me read what they are preaching about. Yeah. But never waste your time on preaching that is not interesting to you. It doesn't make you happy or you don't. Because that, the preaching that, that, that you see that it is, uh, it, it is what God has given to you. Yeah. yeah. So if I listen to Rick Joyner, or if I listen to Kenneth Hagin, people don't like listening to him. Some people don't like, they don't, they don't get anything from it. But me, when I listen, it, it, it affects me. If I listen to somebody like Joyce May, I don't get much from it. Uh -huh. Although it's beautiful. I just, uh, crowds, people are listening all over the world. Fantastic. But when I, I don't get much from it. So I'd rather listen to somebody that somebody finds boring, but I find interesting. It makes me study the things. And you see, I'm quoting what Kenneth Hagin told me 30 years ago. I remember it. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't married when I heard it. Yeah. So it just made me read the Bible. Many things that I can trace it to listening to a message. So when you listen to preaching, it guides you. We are all learning. And the Bible becomes interesting because of Benny Hinn listening to Ben. That's why I can read books like Leviticus and Job. It's Benny Hinn's fault that I read, I read Psalms and all those things. Yeah. It's happened. Yeah, I've never have read all those things. I don't know what is there. But I, read, I don't understand it. But because of people like Benny Hinn, do you get it? I see and then I'm, I realize I'm now quoting from Job. Beautiful. So Pray after the manner of men, wow. wisdom to become a Bible reader. Three things that will help you to read your Bible. I've given you at least one. Write down two more. <laughs> Let's pray. Paramaka Baranda la Baba. Oh, yes. May Mama la Mandala Baba. Paloma. Prayer Hallelujah. changes things. Yes, it does. Prayer changes your Bible it does. reading. It does. Prayer changes your Bible wow. reading. Wow. Prayer changes things. Wow. Prayer changes things. Wow. Prayer changes things. Write down three things. After the manner of men. Yes, yes, yes. What you'll do. What you do. Yes. What you do. Yes. What you do. Yes. Three keys. 
You know, one day I, a brother came to me. He said he masturbates three times a day, every day. He has to masturbate three times every day. So, what you do? I, you pray. Yes. You cast out. You anoint. You do everything. Then what you do? After the manner of men, I gave him a key. Okay. Yes. I gave him a key to dry it out. All right? All right. So pray for a key. After the manner of men, you see that God will help you. you. You see that it will never even come to your mind. Wow. Yes. All those things will be out. All weird sexual behavior. It won't come to you again. Not that it's coming, you are overcoming it. Mm -hmm. That's not what we are talking about. That's not overcoming. Is that it won't be part of you. Yes. Not that it's like, today I've, I've, I need to watch three men having sex with one woman. It's not normal. Even. Yes. What you do? So pray that after the man, you have to fight it after the manner of men. And if you don't fight it, you think it will go away when you marry. It will not. You don't know. So boys and girls, everybody. Yes. All right? We are fighting pornography. 60% of all internet traffic is for pornography today. 60 to 70% of all the use of the internet is only pornography. Mm. And they say 80% of Christian men watch pornography. 80% of all Christian men watch pornography. What you do? What you do? After the manner of men, we are fighting it. Yes, Lord. Begin praying. Tada mukata bala 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 very humbling, low, and crude. Do you understand? Yes. And God is showing you that. Sometimes that is what you have to do. You have to do something humbling, crude. You see, like, like you say, drink tea. Some people look and say, eh? When they get up, then they say they are drinking tea to, to prayer. I look at the type of Christian that have come today. Hey. Instead of waiting on the Lord and fasting, and we, we used to flask Chloe. We don't eat. We don't drink. Now they say drink tea. Sorry. Sorry, we beg. We are, we are begging you. So that's why I said that it's humbling and it's crude and it's low. But you see that you are praying. Wow. Yes. You are see that you are actually praying. Yes. Beautiful. So I hope you are getting some keys for the pornography. Did you get some keys? You want me to give you keys? No, I mean, give me. You find your own key. Yeah. Beautiful. The next one, fighting homosexuality. Whoa. You see, some years ago, I never knew anybody who had such a tendency or a problem. It's a spirit mm. that has come. Yes. And many people have a mind. Maybe I am. Mm. And especially from the unfortunate part of the world where they are propagating it almost as an official thing. So, what you do after the manner of men, there are many, even yesterday somebody asked me this, I said, I'm afraid, I don't want to be that because of what somebody has done to me when I was a child. So, whatever after the manner of men, and all parents, one of the fights you can do after a man of man, tell your boy that he's a man. Okay? Yeah. Tell your boy that he's a man. He's a great guy. Yeah. Yes. Because sometimes the people who tell, they laugh at people and tell them that he's girlish. Yes. Or sometimes they'll play mommy and daddy and, the, and a boy will be the mommy and there's a daddy. You, you understand what I'm saying? They are playing mommy and daddy. Yes. And one of your children has, is playing the mommy. They are acting. <laughs> yes? So, 
One of the things you tell your boy, he's a man. He's a great guy. He's very handsome. The girls will like him. Wow. Yes. Well, people are afraid to approach girls. That's another one. People think that if you go, because of the way girls laugh. <laughs> Even your walking will change. <laughs> because you, you, you feel it. Have you felt it before? Yeah. So then your, your confidence is going. <laughs> you feel that they are laughing at you. <laughs> so, what do you do? Three things against that spirit. It knock it out of anybody's head. Yeah. Me, I can sit down with you for one hour and explain to you. After the manner of men. Yes, after the manner of men. After praying. That is a spirit. I'll sit down after the manner of men and, and talk to you and explain to you. Wow. You are not. You cannot be. You yourself, you don't want to be. Yes, you don't want to be. Lift your hand and pray quickly yes, after the manner of men. Your children, yes. none of your children will report to you that he's gay or whatever. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes. After the manner of men. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at 1 Corinthians 15 verse 32 from the Amplified Bible. Mm. From the Amplified Bible. So what good has it done me merely, if merely from a human point of view I fought with wild beasts? You see, we are talking about what you must fight from a human point of view. And when I say fight, Homosexuality, I'm talking about the spirit and the practice in your life. No fighting people who are doing it. If they are doing it, they want to do it, they should do it. Everybody is free to do what he wants. Just as we are also free to serve God. Amen. Amen. So, from the human point of view, how do you fight things? Yeah, as though there is no God, just as a human. This is what God is showing us this morning. To fight things in, from the human aspect only. How to keep your man just as a human? You mean that there is no God? How do you keep your man? Beautiful. Yes. How do you fight homosexuality in your life, in your family's life? Just as a human. What will you do? What you will do? Yes. You tell your boy you are a man. You are a great man. Just wow. like you. And tell him that girls are nice. Wow. Beautiful. beautiful. Are girls beautiful? Oh. Girls are nice. You'll be shocked that a day can come when you prefer somebody to come and tell you that he's committed fornication than he's going to do something like this. Yes. Hey. Hey. From the human point of view, God is giving you wisdom. Amen. 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 Number next, fighting fornication. Wow. From the human point of view. Yes. You sit there and say, oh, I'm not that fornication. I'm not the fornicatory type. I'm not the what? Fornicatory type. <laughs> what you do from the human point of view, one of the things is to marry. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. From the human point of view, to marry. Yes. Because if you can't stop a car, you can control it like steer it. Yes, you can't stop it. You just tear it. Huh? You don't understand the English words I'm saying. You can't what? Stop it. You 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 draw. If the brakes are not working, what you do? You'll be tearing here, then run to the left because you press the brake, it's gone down. So you try to avoid this, avoid that, avoid that. So steering is the alternative to braking. So what you do, you see that the fornication is coming. So what you do, you steer it into marriage. So pray, write down three keys against fornication in your life. Amen. Let's pray. You could have 21 points yes. in your notes. Yes. You see, God guides us as you pray. God, you are watching and praying. Wow. Fighting uh, after the manner of men, which is the human point of view. Mm. You are fighting prayerlessness yes. the, after the human point of view. Amen. Yeah. Wow. So now you should have 21 points. Now, the next one, fight to get married. Oh. After the human point of view, after the manner of men. We are praying about marriage. Yes. A lot of things in our, all our problems are mostly related to marriage. 
yeah, to get married. Everyone who is listening to me, you will be married. If you are happy to be awake and you are part of this prayer now, you are going to get married Amen. by this by this prayer. Wow. In Jesus' name. Amen. It can, you will not escape. Mm. I mean, not as in a bad way, but you will not be left out. Yes. Hallelujah. Now, there are some things you have to do. Three things mm. after the human point of view that you must do to get married. One of them is to be humble. Because if you keep looking and saying, she, her, 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 I wanted somebody with a shape of a Coca-Cola bottle. Do you see? But most girls are not in the shape of a Coca-Cola bottle. So I want a woman who is in the shape of a... Um, Fry tall bottle. <laughs> Do you see? But you are not getting it that way. I want uh, uh, different things. You, you can't have everything. Okay. She's too fair. She's too dark. She's too this. this, this. That is why you are not getting married. If you are not humble, say, hey, hey, thanks be to God. So one of the practical keys is humility. Yeah. Just be humble. Amen. So we are fighting to get married. Amen. So write it down. What you will do? Maybe you have to change your hairstyle. Your hairstyle is <laughs> make, is make you look like a boy. And maybe you want to only marry somebody who will take you to America. You know, one day I saw a sister, you know, she came to Ghana. She doesn't live in Ghana, but she, she moved to Ghana. Okay. After some time, she got married in Ghana to a Ghanaian. She's not a Ghanaian. Okay. I think I officiated her wedding. I'm not sure. I, in my head, I was saying all the time, congratulations, you are a clever girl. Mm. You are a clever So from the point of view, where she was, there were no husbands. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. One day, I visited a church. Only girls. I mean, in a certain country. Only what? <laughs> girls. <laughs> I knew that this is going to be a problem for all of them to marry. Yes. One day, I called a sister at the First Love Church. I said, how old are you? She mentioned her age. I said, look, I'm sending you to a church where there are grown-ups. <laughs> so, I sent her. The next time I heard, she had got a beloved. But she had been around always, no beloved. From the human point of view, <laughs> after the manner of men, I was fighting to get her married. Wow. Yeah. When I sent her, somebody saw her and said, Hey, which flower is this? I said, uh -huh. Beautiful. So, after the manner of men, wow. you get it? What must you do to get married? Wow. Yes. You don't know how to cook at all. You are like a carpenter. Do you understand? You are like a what? Carpenter. What must you do after the manner of men? Every day you wear trousers. A dress makes you look different from a trousers. Trousers makes you look like a bus driver. Do you understand? <laughs> so, you need certain things after the manner of men. Are you listening to me? Yes. Why do you think they don't wear trousers at weddings? Have you seen a bride coming in with trousers? She's wearing jeans. She's coming to get married. It will not work. The dress changes something. All right, so pray, write down three keys that are going to help you to my as a boy or a girl. Every praying. Yes. 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 Now, the next one is we are fighting. Pray for the wisdom after the manner of man to fight your crisis. Whatever crisis or problem is in your life. Amen. There are some things to do just humanly speaking. Yes. Humanly speaking. Yes. After the manner of men, it means from the human point of view or humanly speaking, what you should do. So whatever crisis or trouble is in your life, God is showing you three things to do, humanly speaking, that when you do them, it will contribute to bring an end to your crisis. Whatever case you have, God is giving you the upper hand. 
Lift your hand and begin to pray. Three things from the human point of view. This, do this. Do this. Please write it down. God is showing you. Yes, Lord. Father, 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 Father. Oh, we are praying finally to fight unhappiness. Whoa. Yes. Unhappiness in your life. Mm. Amen. Amen. The grace dance is an example of uh, something to do after the manner of man mm -hmm. to fight unhappiness. <laughs> yes. Because whenever we finish church, the few of us that are here, we dance. Uh, sometimes when we go up, we can dance for one hour. Yeah. There's no topic. It's just <laughs> dancing. <laughs> So we are waiting to come back to church fully. We will dance. And those who don't like dance will leave the church. Yes. We transfer all of them to non-dancing churches. So there are things to do to fight what? Unhappiness. Happiness. You can't always be unhappy. It's not a good thing. You get it? Yes. That's why the sanguine, a person who is sanguine has a great value. Because the person brings happiness. It's always happy. You can't even understand why. The person is always happy. It has a great value. Wow. Sanguinity. Pray that you get a sanguine in your life to lighten the environment. After the manner of man, we are fighting things and God. So this is point number 10. You are supposed to have 30 points. I don't know if you have 30 wisdom keys. Yes. After the manner of man. This is the last one from here. We are moving to the prayers of Hezekiah. Yes. So pray right now. After the manner of man, God should anoint you with special wisdom. To fight all forms of unhappiness, depression, sorrow, yes. dejectedness, yes. low, I mean lowness, lowered mood. Mm. You are not, even people don't like your company because you are always quiet or very serious in a way that makes everybody tense. We all feel that we are doing something wrong when you are around. No. It must go in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lift your hand and pray against unhappiness. Oh, yes. After the manner of men. After the manner of men. Lord, give me three Lord, give keys, me three keys. keys. against unhappiness three of my keys. life. Mantoka baramandole mandaramandaliba. Handore mandoleba. Sa aflo kasaba. Sa aflo kasakaba. Ronde venekesh kovara di zebone nemo sandaba. Parada badaba. Zuge varonomo kosheketenebe. 